if you want to make metal tracks or a metal chain, this is how. You'll download this blend file, which I'll include a link of, and you'll have your track or chain in it. And out of that track or chain, you'll want to edit mode, and you'll get one length. You'll make sure you snap it to world origin, zero everything out, have scale of all one. Go to edit me, see your side view, and as you can see, you just move these to where you want. So if you got like a track, you know, and it's like that or however you want to do it. Once you get done with that and you get it all lined up, you go to Giants Exporter, which is, this is the community exporter, and this is the one for 3.6. And this is actually Farm Sims 22, because the one for 25, this tool doesn't work yet. So what you'll do is go to Object Data from Curve, click on your curve, load selected, and it'll show up right here. Go to Motion Path, Amount, and I've already counted these, there's 36, but you want to count your linkages. 36, curve array, create. So now it looks like this. So then you want to go attributes, go down to rendering, click on what it just created. This is where your curve array DDS is going to be. Now it's going to be in the same folder as your blend file. So if you want it in the textures folder, you need to add textures before it. Or if you just want it by itself, we're going to keep it by itself. So then go back to my tools and export object data texture is what you're going to do. Click that. See it exported it. There it is right there. Once you get that done, Save this because now you don't have to worry about this blender anymore. Go to this blender, open, and you're actually going to open that same blend file. As you can see, here's that same blend file. What you're going to do is you're going to click your linkage, you're going to add a UV to it, which is right here. Then you're going to go to your material, add a new material, let's just say chrome chain. And then you're going to go to add empty, add an empty, name it whatever you want. Move your chain in it by holding shift while you're dragging it. There it is. Duplicate that. We got to do this, like we said, we have 36 links. We got to do this 36 times. One more. Now there's 36 right there. All right, so now I'll select all these. Go into edit mode. Go to UV editing. See they're scattered out. Go to smart unwrap. I like to do a small island. So then they look like this. So you'll go back to layout. All right, so what you're going to do now, while you have all that selected, you're going to go to Attributes. Make sure it's auto-assigned. It's going to go to Material, Chrome Chain. We'll add the Vehicle Shader, Motion Path, V-Mass. Go down to Material. Say you want it silver scratched. Use that, hit apply, and if you don't have your maps yet, do this, go to your data folder. Go to your shared and your default specular or V mask. Then down here you want your default normal. Like so. 
Okay, very good. Triple. The B mask. Back your layout. Make sure all that's right. What you want. You want to check track array and you want to put this as the file that you exported a while ago, which is curve array. And of course, if it's in textures folder, you'll load the textures before that. Make sure everything's right. Hit apply. You go to export. Name it whatever you want. Click on change. So one thing you need to do before you export it is go to attributes, go down here to where it says merge children. Make sure you do that as well. You actually just go right here and go to export selected. As you can tell, I have it all selected. Exports it as I3D. Open that up in GE. There's your chain. You always want to get rid of this map. One way that I've learned to get rid of it actually is in Blender. Click on this. Go to your material. Go down to emission. Click on the color and the value. Take it all the way down to zero. Export selected. Bring it right back up. As you can tell, that's your chain. Got your dip, default B mask, your default normal. Has your shader. Has your silver set up and your curve array. So now all you have to do is put this inside your mod itself. And then what you want to do is go into your actual XML, and this is coming off my track chipper, of course. Class of scrolling animation, and that's just the name that I had it named in there. Shader parameter name is scroll POS, and then you just put your speed. Now, if you want it, if it's going the wrong way, just make that a negative number right there, and it will go the other way. But that's just how fast you want it to go. And that's literally all you got to do. And let me. Pause it for one second, I'll open my game and I'll show it to you working in game. Alright, in game, of course. Here's a chain. Turn it on. As you can see, it works just like it's supposed to. Of course, I have the rollers going the wrong way, but we'll ignore that. I, as you can tell, this machine still has a lot of work. First thing I even did to it once converting was the chain, so still have a lot to do to it. And as you can see, turn it off and slows to a stop. And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in Discord or either in the comments below.